Welcome to what is, I am told, the only thing worth looking forward to on a Monday. It is time for Tag Back, the show where every week I take a look at another old blaster from the past to see what it could offer us today in the present. And if you watched my last video, you already knew what was coming. What the heck is this thing? It is this thing. The Busby Panther. Or two Panthers, because there's two Panthers here. And there's a very good reason for that. But this is what you're looking for in the Panther. It is a tiny air blaster with a big tank. And, because of the way it works, it can be integrated into a lot of different things. Let's put that aside right now and talk about the Panther itself. You've got a tiny handle on it where you have to always have your peaky extended like a sir. You've got a tiny awkward pump to use. And you've got a straight pullback trigger with a barrel that, when sitting, is automatically tilted upwards and so it angles all your shots, whether you like it or not, unless you hold it like this, which is kind of awkward. Kind of weird, but why do I have two of them here? That's because I already had a Panther. And notice this one has a black barrel. Notice this one has a white barrel. Notice this pump is black. Notice that pump is white. Yep, they made two different versions of the Panther. This kind is not very good. The air tank is about half the size, and that's not what we're looking for. It's about the size of a Hornet tank, and it's the same tank that is in the Air Max 6 and Air Max 10. And, of course, the Air Max 1 is just a Panther in a different shell. This, however, has this size of air tank in it, which may also look familiar, because it's the same kind of system that we've got right here. There we go, except for the blast buttons in a different place. These are really cool. This is the secret shot internals, if you didn't already know. You pump it up, you pull the trigger, and it pops. And there's not very much room for it to build pressure there. That's a hell of a lot more room. Now, obviously, this one's already been cut down by Bobo Bob. But, same concept. You pump it up. And then you press the button right here. And you get a nice, crisp hiss out of it very very powerful in fact when properly modded these things can hit up to 100 feet flat yes tiny pistol that can hit up to 100 feet flat i don't know what else to say about that because honestly that should be all i need to say for you to start foaming at the mouth and want one if for some reason you haven't already seen it i highly recommend you go check out boba lolo's video on his panther shotgun a video I saw a very long time ago, and I instantly wanted one. <laughs> and this is what he used for that, with some modification. Now, the cool thing about these kinds of tanks, which I believe are back pressure tanks, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not an expert on these things. But, you can cut it cleanly. Now, if you cut off the pump, right there, and attach it with nylon tubing, you can extend the pump to wherever you want it. I can put the pump back here, and as long as there's tubing connecting it to this part right here, and there's no leaks, it will build up pressure and pump our blaster up. You may have to have one or two more pumps if it's a very, very long, you know, amount of nylon tubing, but that's not much of a problem. Now, you can also detach it from the tank and the button. That lets you put the button wherever you want it and have the tank wherever you need it. But doing that in any kind of extreme case will detract from your power. The more tubing, the more distance you have between this button and this tank, you're going to lose some power, so you need to balance that out. It's very important, but it is not impossible to have this thing do some pretty incredible stuff for integrations. It is a very, very cool little blaster, and I highly recommend you try to pick one up. That's where it gets tricky. You can probably still find this kind of panther in a store somewhere. Got to pay attention to that black pump and black barrel. If you're looking for one of these, the last places I heard that you could find one were in like Dollar General and stuff like that. Discount dollar stores. Which, if you found this kind of panther, buy all of them. As many as you possibly can. Even if they were 4 or $5, I would buy as many as possible. I even looked in places like, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, oh God, what's the name of that store? This is a grocery store 
that had Busby stuff all the time, and they never had anything like this. And I kind of wish back in the day I would have picked some of these up. It's not that old. They came out in 2011, so chances are if you look around, you still might find somebody selling some of them. Now, if you absolutely cannot find that, there is another more, uh, let's say, modern version. Not quite the same thing, but still, you've got the Blast Zooka, the Extreme Blast Zooka. They, Busby has been putting out a lot of air blasters. They had the Ultimate Missile Blast to follow up on the Big Blast, and now they have the Extreme Blast Zooka. Same concept. You've got a push button here, although I don't know how well this one deals with being relocated. You have an inline pump, which is kind of a pain in the dick to move. And then, of course, you've got your tank. And, uh, well, it's going to hit a little bit harder than your Panther tank, because it is, of course, bigger. But it's not nearly as easily to, you know, put into stuff, unfortunately. But if you want some insane air power just doing this, I literally just cut off the barrel and you can stuff a dart in there like that. It doesn't even do a good fit. And yet this thing will still send this dart screaming harder than any Elite Blaster I've ever seen ever. It's hilarious. If you don't know, if you, if you just aren't into air power, I feel sorry for you because air powered blasters are so much fun. I love them so they can hit some insane ranges if you want to shoot multiple darts at once they're really good at doing that yeah you gotta pump them which kind of sucks but when you have something like this and you just want to have a quick sniper shot that somebody's not expecting very very useful for that in fact a very good little secondary if you can swing it because then you can positively snipe people with it do you like air blasters do you want a panther do you own a panther and not know what you had let me know about it in the comment boxes below. And of course, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And of course, if you nerf or nothing, go ahead and hit that dislike button as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in a different video.